The X zone is off when none of the LEDs are illuminated. To switch on, insert an XAM. After turning the three silver fasteners, take off the cover and insert the XAM. Replace the cover and close the lower fastener first. The X zone is switched on using the black button. Keep it pressed for three seconds. The upper LED comes on. The X zone is now in standby mode. Press the black button again for three seconds. The X zone switches on and performs a self test. If the error message X1 appears in the XAM display, the XAM is not connected to the X zone. Switch off the X zone and insert the XAM correctly. The illuminated ring now flashes green, indicating that no gas alarms are present. The second LED, Connection, lights red to show there are no other X-Zones in range. The X-Zone is now ready for use. The illuminated ring flashing red and loud alarms signal gas alarms. A1 or A2 appear in the display, alternating with the gas concentration. Depending on the configuration, the gas alarm can be confirmed by pressing OK. Switch on another X-Zone. Both devices connect automatically. The connection LEDs light green. Carry out a connection test by pressing the green key to enter the menu. Then choose Test with the blue key and confirm with green. Both X-Zones flash and sound alarms three times. Now the X-Zone group is ready for use. As we know, alarms are sounded by the triggering device flashing red and emitting loud alarms. All other devices in the area flash red-green. The identity and gas concentration of the trigger device appear on every display, i.e. which gas alarm has been triggered and where is visible on every X-Zone. This way, decisions about the necessary measures to be taken can be made outside the danger zone. The charge status of the X-Zone is shown on the charge LED. If lit green, the X-Zone is more than two-thirds charged. If the LED is green-red, the charge status is between one and two-thirds. If the LED is red, the battery is less than 30% charged. If the LED flashes, the battery is almost flat and has only 5 to 15 minutes runtime left. The illuminated ring also flashes. The battery alarm tone can be configured. The X zone can be returned to standby mode by pressing the blue and green keys of the XAM at the same time for 3 seconds. To use the X zone's built in pump, Put the filter and the pump cover on. After power up, the pump test starts. The pump LED lights red green and emits a beep. Bend the probe hose at the end. This interrupts the pump flow. It emits a continuous tone. The LED lights red. Release the hose again. The tone changes and stops. The LED lights green and the pump is running. If the pump test is not complete within 60 seconds or the system leaks, the X-Zone alarm sounds. Switch off the X-Zone and resolve the fault. To switch the X-Zone off completely, press the black and blue keys for 3 seconds.